Hello wonderful family, another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Um, please excuse the lighting, occasionally I have to come out to somewhere that I believe will be a bit quieter than uh, uh, indoors within the house, depending on what, what's going on. Um, today I'll be reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and we'll be reading from the New King James Version. We'll read from verse 11 down to verses 18, then also verse 1 of um, chapter 7. Join me. O Corinthians. Now as I say, O Corinthians, transpose it. In fact, I'll transpose it for you. O Christians, or you, O children of God, we have spoken openly to you. Our heart is wide open. You are not restricted by us, but you are restricted by your own affections. Now return for the same. I speak as to children. You also be open. Very key now. Verse 14. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? Um, if you know what a yoke uh, is in the agricultural terms, it's uh, a piece of equipment that is used to see to it that uh, a team, usually with respect to oxen, a team of oxen maximize their effectiveness whilst plowing. Now, you do not want to put a strong oxen, a strong ox besides a weak ox. What happens is that that strong ox does most of the plowing and also pulls along that weak ox. So the energy is dissipated. It is wasted energy. And uh, that is the context with which this is being said. It says, do not be unequally yoked. So the, the yoking has to be balanced. Two of equal power to be, to be effective for their energies to be maximally uh, um, applied. The simplest analogy there is if you have two motors connected to wheels and one motor is um, revolves faster than the other motor. What ends up happening is that they do not move together in a straight line. Instead, they will deviate from the track. The motor that is more powerful would end up turning, or the one slow would, would end up slowing down and causing the um, vehicle to turn towards the slow side and off track. Bible says do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers so that your association should not be so to speak with unbelievers association in this sense in your walk with with God or you will be derailed your association it says if, if you are yoking yourself with an unbeliever that is that yoke is unequal you can go straight you'll be deviated like in this analogy with the wheels towards the side of the unbeliever that's what scripture says it says for what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness and what communion has light with darkness so the bible is calling you righteousness the bible is calling you light it says and what accord has christ with belial the bible is calling you christ of course as a christian you are christ the anointed one or what part has a believer with an unbeliever and what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For ye, for you are the temple of the living God. And God has said, I will dwell in them. So God has said, I will dwell in you. I will live in you and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Verse 17. Therefore come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. And I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Uh, let's go to the next. Chapter 7, verse 1. Chapter 7, verse 1. Just bear with me. Let's see to it that it comes up quickly. Um, yeah. Therefore, having these promises what promises the promises that he says that if you separate yourself say that i would i would i would live in you i would dwell in you 
I will be amongst you. It says, therefore, having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. In essence, it's telling you to live a holy life. That's all it's telling you here. Because if you want to merge your Christian walk with the ways of the unbeliever, you'll be deviated. You will lose track. You won't be on that narrow road. Don't deceive yourself. God is wiser than you. God is far wiser than you could ever imagine yourself to be. And he's telling you that if you be unequally yoked with an unbeliever, you will be derailed. God bless you. Listen to counsel and take advice. God bless you. Hallelujah.